On the count of three, clap your hands just once to wake up. Buster the bus. One, two, three. Hello, everyone. My name is Buster the Bus. I am the magical school bus that travels all over Ontario teaching students just like you to ride the school bus safely. I'd like to welcome you to our program, Buster's Safety Badge. School bus safety rules and behavior expectations for primary students. We're going to have a lot of fun while we learn. Remember that my program is called Buster's Safety Badge. So let me explain a little bit more about that. This is my very special safety badge. Pretty cool, isn't it? If you listen carefully and answer my questions during the video, you can win fun decorations to remind you of the school bus safety rules. At the end of our video, we will show you a special website address that you can give to your parents or guardian. The website has school bus safety reminders just for you. But that's not all. If you remember your rules, your parent or guardian can enter your name, grade, and school, and then print out my badge just for you. Wear this badge, and everyone will know that you know your school bus safety rules. I'm excited, and I'm sure you are too. So let's get started. Let's start by talking about your walk to the school bus stop. Some of you get picked up by the school bus in front of your house, and some of you must walk to your stop. Walking to your school bus stop is good for the environment and helps keep you extra healthy. If you must walk to your bus stop, always remember that the road can be dangerous. Always walk on the sidewalk. If there is no sidewalk, Walk single file on the shoulder of the road, staying as far away from the road as possible. Always walk facing the traffic so drivers can see you. Watch for cars or trucks pulling out of driveways. Wait for them to leave before you walk past. You must be five to 10 minutes early arriving at your bus stop. The bus driver has lots of students to pick up and can't wait for you if you are late. Remember, we wait for the bus. It does not wait for us. Always remember the road and stand as far away from it as you can. Once you're at your bus stop, you must only stand where you have been told your bus stop is. Always be sure to respect your neighbor's property. The school bus stop is no place for playing around. If you're playing around and not paying attention, you could fall onto the dangerous road. If it is winter and there are snow banks, do not play on them because you could slip onto the road. Instead, watch the distance to see when your bus is coming. You will know it might be time for your bus when you see the bus with the amber-colored flashing lights. When you see the bus coming, make a straight, single-file line so that everyone can see the bus coming and so that everyone is ready to get on when the bus stops and the door opens. It's exciting to see your bus coming, but do your best to stay calm. The bus driver sits up high in the bus. Remember that this makes it difficult for them to see you when the bus stops. Wait for the bus to come to a complete stop and for the door to open before you get any closer to it. Never touch the outside of the bus. Remember, the bus is big, heavy, and it moves. If you must cross in front of the school bus in the morning, here is what you must do. Wait until the bus is stopped and its crossing gate and stop arm are out. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. 
The wait position means to wait on the sidewalk or side of the road until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with a thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing the road. Look left, right, and left again. If you hear the bus horn, stay on the sidewalk. Or if there is no sidewalk, stay on the side of the road. Look at the driver and follow their instructions. If the road is clear, cross to the other side. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. We have completed the first section of our program. Let's quickly review. Remember to watch for cars or trucks pulling out of driveways. Wait for the car or truck to leave before you walk by. If there is no sidewalk, walk a safe distance away from the road facing traffic. The bus stop is no place for playing around. If it is winter and there are snow banks, do not play on them because you could slip onto the road. Friends, I am going to ask you a question. Pause the video after I ask my question so that you have time to think about your answer. If you get the answer correct, you will win a special decoration for your badge. Here is my question. Get ready to pause the video. Choose one of these words to complete the sentence. One stops. Or two moves. The sentence is, you never touch the school bus because it is big, heavy, and it... The answer is moves. You never touch the school bus because it is big, heavy, and it moves. Did you get it right? I hope you did. If you got it wrong, just go back and watch this section again. For those of you that got it correct, here is a decoration to remind you to never touch the school bus. Congratulations to those of you that got the correct answer. Let's get back to our video. The danger zone is an imaginary rectangle that shows you that it is dangerous 10 steps in all directions around the school bus. It is dangerous because the driver can't or may have difficulty seeing you if you are in the danger zone. You can see that the danger zone goes on to the sidewalk. Once the bus arrives, you must continue to be very careful. Never go behind the bus and never go in front of the bus unless the stop arm and crossing gate are out. Stay away from the tires and the side of the bus. Never try to touch the bus. Always remember and respect the danger zone when you are near the bus. Getting on your school bus. When the bus door opens, you must get on the bus one at a time. There is only room for one in the doorway. Hold the handrail to help yourself up the stairs. The handrail will help you keep your balance. If you drop something under the bus, never reach under or go under the bus to try and get it yourself. Items like balls or musical instruments must fit in your bag. If something is too big for your bag, do not bring it on the bus. Tell the bus driver and they will help you. Say a quick hi to your driver and head straight to your seat. The driver is in charge of the school bus. Always show respect and do what they ask right away. Think of your school bus as a classroom on wheels. Remember, your school's code of conduct also applies to the school bus. Go right to your seat, sit down, and get settled. The bus can't leave until you are sitting down. Great job listening, everyone. Let's review and then see if you can win another decoration. 
the danger zone goes 10 steps all the way around the school bus. It is dangerous because the driver can't or may have difficulty seeing you if you are in the danger zone. Friends, here is my question for you. Remember to pause the video after I ask my question so that you have time to think about your answer. Here is my question. If you drop something under the school bus, you must never reach under or go under the bus to get it. Instead, what must you do? 1. Tell the bus driver or 2. Tell a friend The answer is, if you drop something under the school bus, you must never reach under or go under the bus to get it. Instead, you must tell the bus driver. Did you get it right? I hope you did. If you got it wrong, just go back and watch this section again. For those of you that got it correct, here is a decoration. Congratulations to those of you that got the correct answer. When you are on your school bus, use your quiet speaking voice. The driver must be able to hear. Stay seated for the whole ride, even if the bus stops. Don't stand up or change seats. You must always sit with your back in the seat facing forward. The bus makes a lot of quick stops, and if you are not seated properly, you might slip out of your seat. Keep your bag on your lap and never under the seat. You must keep the aisle clear so others can get on the bus. Don't turn around in your seat. Sit halfway or lean forward to speak to others. The bus sometimes stops quickly. If you are not seated properly, you could get hurt. Do not snack on the school bus. If the bus came to a quick stop, you might choke and others might have allergies to what you are eating or drinking. Do not open the school bus's windows without the driver's permission. If your window is open, do not throw anything out of the bus. Keep everything, including your arms and head, inside the bus. There are things like telephone poles, trees, cars, and trucks that could hurt you. Hello, friends! Let's review the rules for riding on the school bus. Use your quiet speaking voice when you are riding on the bus. Once you sit down, stay in your seat for the whole ride. Do not change seats, even if the bus stops. Sit properly with your back in the seat, facing forward with your bag on your lap. Do not open the school bus windows without the driver's permission. If the windows are open, do not put your arms or head out of the bus. Great job, everyone! I am so happy with how well you are listening that I'm going to award you your decoration without asking you a question. Here it is! Great job, everyone! Here comes the next part of our video. Sit comfortably and watch closely. It doesn't happen very often, but sometimes there might be a reason to get off the school bus during the ride because of an emergency. Remember that the bus driver and the older students are there to help you and will tell you what to do. They will tell you to get off the bus at the front door, rear emergency door, or both. The first thing you must do is leave your school bag and belongings on your seat. There isn't time to carry all of your things. If you are told to leave through the front door, the students in the back of the bus get off first. Once you are out of the front door, you will see an older student. They will tell you to go to a safe area nearby. If you are told to leave through the back door, the students in the front of the bus get off first. If you are a younger student, sit down on your behind and the two older students will help lower you to the ground. If you are an older student, crouch like a skier 
and the two helpers will help lower you to the ground. If you must get off the school bus in a hurry, you could be asked to get off at the front door or at the back door. The bus driver or the older students will tell you which door to use. Get off the bus, go to the safe area, and stay there. A safe area is anywhere away from the bus and traffic, like the sidewalk, in a grassy area, near a tree, or in a field. Look at all of your decorations! Wow! And this is what the next one looks like. But remember, you still need to answer my question. Let's review first. If there is an emergency, you might have to get off the school bus. Leave your belongings on the bus. The bus driver or the older students will tell you to leave the bus through the front door or the back door. Friends, here is my question for you. This is a tough one, so you might need an adult to help you. Remember to pause the video after I ask my question so that you have time to think about your answer. This is a true or false question. If you leave the bus in an emergency, you must meet the older students at a safe spot nearby. True or false? The answer is true. If you leave the bus in an emergency, you must meet the older students at a safe spot nearby. I'm sure you got it right, but if you didn't, just go back and watch this section again. For those of you that got it correct, here is a decoration to remind you to go to the safe spot nearby. Congratulations to those of you that got the correct answer. The bus has arrived at the school. As you can see, this area is very busy. There are cars dropping off students, school buses unloading, teachers and parents. To stay safe when you are in this busy area, you must always listen to what the person in charge tells you to do. Do what they ask of you right away. Friends, I need you to use your imagination. I need you to imagine that our friends have been to school, but are now on their way back home after school. One, two, three, four. On the school bus, on the school bus rules. On the school bus, on the school bus rules. Windows closed, arms inside, use my inside voice. Windows closed, arms inside, use my inside voice. On the school bus, on the school bus rules. On the school bus, on the school bus rules. As you ride the school bus home, look for things that will let you know your stop is coming soon. This could be a special house, tree, or even a park. When you think your stop is coming up, gather all of your belongings, including mitts, hats, books, and bags, so that you are ready to get off when the bus stops. Remember, you must always get on and off the bus at your bus stop. If your friend asks you to get off at a different bus stop to go and play, remember to say no thank you because your parent or responsible person will be at your bus stop waiting for you. If you think that you have missed your bus stop, tell the bus driver. Remember, they are there to help you. Do not stand up until the bus comes to a complete stop. Get off the bus one at a time. There is only room for one in the doorway. Hold the handrail as you get off the bus. Once you are off of the school bus, you must remember the danger zone. Getting off the bus can be dangerous because once you are off, the driver will be driving the school bus away from the stop. It's your friend Buster again! Remember, when you think your stop is coming, gather all your belongings, including mitts, hats, 
books and bags so that you are ready to get off when the bus stops. Once you are off of the school bus, you must remember the danger zone and be careful. To win the next decoration, you must complete this sentence. Do not stand up until the bus comes to a complete... You may need an adult to help you if you can't read yet. Remember to press pause if you need more time. The answer is... Do not stand up until the bus comes to a complete... S T. O. P. Stop! If you did not complete the sentence correctly, remember to go back and watch this section again. For those of you that got it correct, here is another cool decoration to remind you to wait until the bus stops completely before you get off. Congratulations to those of you that got the correct answer! Here is the last part of my video. Watch carefully, everyone! Some of you must cross in front of your school bus to get to your home. Always follow all of the rules when crossing the road, even if you are in a hurry. Take 10 steps forward so that you are past where the crossing gate is and so that the driver can see you. Turn and look at the bus driver. The driver will be holding up their hand in a wait position. The wait position means wait until the next signal is given. If all of the traffic is stopped, the driver will change their hand signal to an open hand with a thumbs up. The open hand with the thumbs up tells you that it is safe to begin crossing to almost the middle of the road. As you cross, the driver will guide you with their arm. When you get the signal from the driver, Cross to almost the middle of the road and then stop. You must stop, look, and listen for cars or trucks that might not have stopped for the school bus. You must look left, right, and back to your left again. If you hear the bus horn before you cross, you must wait, look at the driver, and follow their instructions. The horn and wait signal means that the driver has seen the danger. You must wait, look at the driver, and follow their instructions. If you don't see any danger, you can cross to the other side and go home. Being safe near the school bus and when you are on the school bus is very important. When you know you will be riding the school bus, take a moment and think about the rules you learned today. We want you to stay safe all the way from your house to school and back home again. Wow! You sure won a lot of decorations for your safety badge, friends! Here is what your badge looks like with all of the decorations! Excellent work, everyone! Thanks for paying such close attention! You were a fantastic audience today! Remember, at the start of our program, I told you that if you listened carefully, I would let you know how you can print off one of my safety badges. Well, parents, here is the website address. Simply go to the website, go over the review material, and then click on the badge. Enter your name, your school name, and your grade, and then print off your badge. The badge says that you have completed watching my special school bus safety and behavior program and that you know all of your rules. I sure am getting tired. Will you help me get back to sleep? On the count of three, can you all whisper, Good night, Buster. One... Two, three. <sighs>